Hey everyone, this is Stony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, we're going to put Vulture's high frequency servers head to head with DigitalOcean's new premium droplets. Now, back in June 2019, Vulture released its high frequency compute servers, making it one of the only VPS providers to offer servers with high CPU clock rates. That was until February 2021 when DigitalOcean released a competing line of servers called Premium Droplets. From the surface, it's nearly impossible to tell which one of these options performs the best, so I decided to run a series of speed tests and load tests on these servers in order to make that determination. If you want to see how these servers compare to each other in terms of performance, I invite you to stick around and find out. Right off the bat here, I wanna make sure that we all understand what we're comparing in this video, and that is Vulture's high frequency compute servers with DigitalOcean's premium Intel and premium AMD servers. Neither hosting company advertises the specs for the CPUs, but in terms of raw clock rate, you can run a simple LS CPU command on the server to determine these values. The Vulture high frequency servers have the highest clock rate at 3.7 gigahertz, while the DigitalOcean Intel clock rate is 2.5 gigahertz and the AMD was measured at two gigahertz. If we stop right here, it seems like Vulture blows DigitalOcean out of the water, but these are only specs on paper and I'm more interested in seeing which server is capable of delivering a web page the fastest. But before we do that, let's first take a look at the solid state drive performance. By doing a series of three tests on each of the servers with the hdparam command, it turns out that the Vulture high frequency server again outperforms both DigitalOcean premium droplets in terms of buffer disk reads. At this point, it's worth mentioning that for all of the tests in this video, I will be using the $6 per month servers, which provide one gigabyte of RAM and a 25 gigabyte solid state drive for DigitalOcean and one gigabyte of RAM and a 32 gigabyte solid state drive for Vulture. So what I did was I set up Nginx and WordPress on each of the servers, which are running Ubuntu, by the way, and created an identical page on each that was 1.2 megabytes in size and consisted of 22 individual requests. I then set up another server and installed an open source suite of speed testing tools called sitespeed.io and proceeded to run a series of 100 back-to-back -back page speed tests to each of the servers, which are all located in New York City data centers. In terms of the server response time, the Vulture high frequency server responded the quickest with an average time of 29 milliseconds, AMD averaged 33 milliseconds, and Intel averaged 44 milliseconds. But what's really interesting is when we look at the time to fully load the page, and as you can see here, DigitalOcean's premium AMD droplet actually loaded the page the quickest with an average of 385 milliseconds, while Vulture was the slowest at 467 milliseconds on average. Now remember that each one of these servers has identical software running on it, so the only difference here is the hardware that we're testing. Next, I use the free speed testing software at fasterslow.com to see how these servers perform from test servers around the world. This time, Vulture is back on top again with an average first meaningful paint of 2.42 seconds with the AMD and Intel droplets at 2.47 and 2.52 seconds respectively. At this point, we have Vulture outperforming DigitalOcean premium droplets in most of the tests, but I figured I should do a proper load test to see how these servers respond under pressure. I used K6 to conduct a series of three load tests from a data center in Ashburn, Virginia. The load test quickly ramped up to 50 virtual users who would relentlessly make page requests for about the entire duration of the two minute test. When we look at the graph of these load tests next to each other, you can clearly see that the Vulture high frequency server does a much better job of consistently fulfilling page requests at a rate faster than both DigitalOcean servers and I found it interesting that K6 explicitly detected a throughput limit on both DigitalOcean servers, which it defined as the system being overloaded, and therefore that's why we saw slow response times. Aside from the one page speed test that put DigitalOcean's AMD droplet on top, it seems like Vulture's high frequency servers might be the better option here. Now, please understand that this is only a small set of tests and it's always best to conduct your own tests in order to determine which option is best for you. 
Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.